What's up guys, DDBK videos. If you are new to my channel, I make military content, put it on the internet for you to enjoy. If you want, my social media links will be in the description down below. If you hit that subscribe button, you can see tons of videos just like this if this is what you're interested in. Today we're gonna go down the pay increase that we just got, 3.1%. I've been doing this every single year on YouTube. Back in the day, I would just talk about the pay increase like in front of a camera, but today we have a giant whiteboard. I'm literally like one of two people in this entire building right now. Everyone's home on holiday leave. I didn't take leave, so instead I'm gonna explain some pay to you. <laughs> Give me my lunch break for this, guys, all right? So to understand this chart, uh, right here you have years of service across the top and then pay grade on the left. Now I did E1 through E6 and then O3 because I know a lot of medical people watch my channel because I'm a corpsman. So uh, out of the medical officers watching my channel, a lot of you come in in the Navy as O3, so I just put it up there. However, you can look up these pay charts and how I'm about to explain it to you, you can put in your rank and time and grade and figure it out if you don't fall within this category. But majority of you are gonna fall in this category. So uh, to start it off, when you go to boot camp, you're probably E1 less than four months. So they're gonna put you at $1,602. After four months, so pretty much after you make it out of boot camp, you're gonna get increased to $1,733. Mind you, this is still less than two years, but all E1s should be less than two years. If for some reason you get bumped out in pay grade and you've been over two years, um, you're still gonna pretty much cap out at that paycheck. So at a certain rank, start to cap out at the same amount of money as you can tell by the chart, which means you either promote or you get paid the same and then there's HYT, but that's completely off this pay video. We'll explain that in a different video. So let's say you get to E2 less than two years, $1,942. You go over two years, it's still $1,942 because E1 through E3 is automatic. They're not gonna give you a pay increase. If you're still at E2 after two years, something bad probably happened in your career. You probably got busted down in rank. So E3, which is probably gonna affect the majority of you. Less than two years, $2,043. More than two years, $2,171. So you get a nice increase of like 130 bucks. Over three years, $2,303. Once you hit your four year mark, you're gonna stalemate at E3. But let's say you get up to E4, which in a lot of communities, you can actually get E4 out of your A school. Less than two years, $2,263. E4 with two years or more, $2,379. Three years, $2,507 four years, $2,635, and six years, $2,747. So not only does your pay go up with like rank, but your pay goes up with time and service, up to an extent because then people just end up HYT, which is higher tenure, which means you didn't pick up rank in enough fast enough time to not be kicked out. E5, which I'm the most ecstatic about, <laughs> less than two years, $2,468. Two years, $2,634. Three years, 2,761. Four years, 2,891. Six years, which I'm about to hit, $3,095, baby. We're breaking the 3K cusp, all right? I'm gonna buy Gucci belts. I'm just kidding, that's a waste of money. If you go to my streams, you know I roast people who wear Gucci. <laughs> and then uh, over eight years, $3,000. $306. Now E6, I don't get how E6 less than two years is possible, but apparently it's a thing. Um, maybe you had some sort of fancy degree that they didn't wanna make a commission like MOS, and they're just gonna make you enlist it and buff you up in rank, because they do that for like musicians, morticians. If you guys know Corman break off into like 33 specialties, morticians can come in as an E6. So less than two years E6, $2,694, two years, 2,964, three years, 3,095. So you see a three year E6 is making the same as a six year E5. So three year difference in, in the pay force, but they're making the same. So that's like, should be the incentive for you to guys pick up rank. The sooner you pick up rank, the sooner you're eligible for the next rank, which means the sooner you can get paid. Now life's and you know, military is not all about the money, but you wanna take care of your family, which I never got why you hear some people like mumble and grumble like, oh, I don't care about picking up rank. You should. <laughs> <laughs> this directly affects how you can live your life. You think an 03 with eight years is, uh, you know, worried about the same things that, you know, an E3 with three years is thinking about? No. Pay makes a difference. Pay isn't everything, but money kind of regulates the activities you can do on your free time. E6, four years, three, 222. Six years, 3,355. 3,653 after eight years. So good like 300 bump from six to eight years for E6. And then once you pick up Chief, you're kind of like, it, it, it's a big gap from E7, E6. So that's that's what makes you like a real senior NCO. Non-commissioned officers are people who are E4 and above. So if you're E3, you're not a 
commissioned officer or a non-commissioned officer. Officers are commissioned officers. Once you pick up NCO, you're non-commissioned officer, and that's what they refer you to is an NCO. You hear that a lot in like Marine Corps, Army, not so much in the Navy because they just kind of refer to you as a petty officer, but it's the same thing. O3, this is for like doctors, but doctors, nurses, all you guys are gonna get huge pay bonuses anyway, so this probably isn't gonna affect you much. <laughs> O3, less than two years, $4,985. O3 with two years, $4,969. O3 with three years, $5,363. O3 with four years. Why am I laughing? I'm laughing at how much more they make. If you're like debating whether or not you should go enlisted or officer and money is a key factor for you, an O3 with less than two years, an O3 that just joined, $4,985. An E6 who's been in eight years, $3,653. A thousand, like $300 plus bonus. Just joining as an officer, you're making a thousand, three hundred dollars more than an E6 who's, you know, could have possibly been a war. Yeah, this is what a 3.1 increase is gonna look like on your guys' paycheck. If you guys have any questions about what you're about to get paid, any questions specifically about money, let me know in the comments down below. I might be able to help you out. If not, I can probably give you a resource that might help you. Then again, Google knows everything. So I'll see you guys in the next one.